That was Cornelius Meister conducting Gustav Mahler's Symphony No. 3. The internationally renowned German conductor and pianist has performed in all the main opera houses and symphony halls around the world. Zurich, Berlin, San Francisco. He made his debut at the Met in New York City earlier this year, and he's our guest today. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Now, you're currently the general music director at the Stuttgart Opera and Orchestra, and you have been there since 2016, but that doesn't stop you from playing elsewhere. In fact, you're currently here in Paris <laughs> to perform with the uh, French National Orchestra. You're going to be playing Mendelssohn's first concer concerto. Yeah. What is it like to play with an orchestra that you're kind of discovering for the first time, an orchestra that's not your own? Well, thank you for the invitation. <laughs> <laughs> um, Actually, I love Paris, I must say, and it's not my first time being here, but it's my first time uh, performing with the Orchestre de National. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, we are performing uh, Mendelssohn, but also Bruckner's Third Symphony, mm -hmm. which is that one with the Wagner quotations and uh, a really huge one. So yeah, I'm a little ex excited. excited. <laughs> <laughs> but what's it like working with musicians that you've you know yeah. you've never worked with before? Is it is do you have I mean do you have to Get to know them as a meet and greet, an icebreaker. <laughs> well, that, that, that's easy because um, uh, I think music is the only language which uh, is understood all over the world. So um, uh, we don't need any, well, English, French, German, whatever. Uh, we just start. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's always easy to come in a close contact during one minute, two minutes. Uh -huh. Interesting. So it's the universal language that brings everyone yes. together. Yes. Now, you have a very versatile and diverse musical repertoire. Is there a style mm. or a, a period that you prefer, more romantic, more contemporary? Uh, actually not. No. Actually not. Um, uh, and I, 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 I do try to combine uh, always some older works, uh, for example, yeah, Bruckner, mm -hmm. uh, uh, with some contemporary uh, piece. Uh, last night I conducted Don Carlos by Verdi, but we added a two-minute uh, piece uh, composed by a contemporary composer. So that's quite normal for me. Mm -hmm. Well, you certainly are able to stretch across different styles. We're actually going to listen to an extract uh, of you conducting. This is George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue at the Vienna Radio Symphony Orchestra. This was with the pianist Lang Lang in 2013. Take a listen. God, it's so powerful. I get chills listening to it. Now, you come from a very musical family. Yes. Your father uh, was a pianist and professor of piano who actually taught you. Yes. Your mother, yes. yeah. also piano teacher. Yes. You're, you have a brother yes. who's a yes. pianist. Yes. <laughs> Clearly runs in your genes. Do you have a first musical memory? Yes. Um, uh, I was always under the grand piano mm -hmm. when I was one or two years old uh, because my mother um, uh, taught their children, uh, their, their, their pupils uh, at home. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I, I was there and it was completely normal to use that grand piano. And so when I was very, very uh, <laughs> uh, small and young, uh, I also tried to, to, to do so. And I'm still trying. <laughs> <laughs> You're still trying, <laughs> clearly succeeding. Now, so you started with the piano yeah. uh, and then you moved on to conducting. Yes. How does one decide I want to be a conductor. Um, it, 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 it's just fun and joy to make music together with other people. And uh, I, I, I like playing the piano, of course, mm -hmm. and I also play the French horn and the cello well. and, and the organ. <laughs> and, uh, but, um, uh, well, conducting means uh, uh, creating something together, mm -hmm. and uh, I really mm -hmm. like that. And you also play the piano sometimes and conduct at the same time. Is, yeah. that, is, that, is that possible? Yeah. And so, because yeah. conducting is such a physical thing, right? How can you how can you do both? How can you play the piano and conduct? Is there mm. can you keep the spontaneity and energy going? How does it work? Oh yes, oh yes. And and uh, uh, you need really a lot of trust. Uh, uh, with everybody mm -hmm. and uh, but yeah it is really spontaneous really yeah is it really physical Do, you must yeah. be exhausted is it like yeah. running a marathon when you <laughs> um, no running a marathon is more physical <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, you're a very well-rounded man because on top of studying music, you also mm. studied Latin, I believe. Uh, well, in school. In yes, school, yeah. yes. And so ancient, ancient Greek, Greek and, yeah, yeah. history, <laughs> philosophy. Do you, th do you find these things useful in, yeah. in your job today? Yes. Um, uh, in my opinion, um, uh, we as artists, uh, we have such a responsibility for our world mm -hmm. in general um, uh, to be against racism, against discrimination and all those th things. Um, uh, and of course it helped a lot uh, that uh, I read some of the texts uh, which were written uh, 2000 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so the problems are always quite similar, I would say, and uh, there are some solutions, um, uh, there has been some solutions, have, have been some solutions uh, which are still uh, true for us. Mm -hmm. so. And by many measures, you've been a prodigy most, most of your life. You started very, very young, uh, mm -hmm. conducting in prestigious places, winning all sorts of prizes. You're, you're about to turn 40. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and you've already achieved so much. What, what would you like to achieve next? Well, I must say I'm so happy to do that, what I do. So, and I'm very happy with my family mm -hmm. too. We have three, three children. Um, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a surprise. Yes. We look forward to, yeah. to seeing what's going to happen. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at some other music news that's making headlines. The American ambient pop band Cigarettes After Sex are back with their sophomore album. It's called Cry. Now, with whispered androgynous vocals and spidery haunting guitar lines, Cry sounds very similar to their debut album, the eponym Cigarettes After Sex. But as they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Take a look at this single off their album. It's called Heavenly. Touch me with a kiss. Feel me on your lips. Cause this is where I wanna be. Where it's so sweet and heavenly. American indie rock band Cold War Kids have taken a radically different approach for their seventh studio album. They've decided to shake up the model, wipe the slate clean, and take a different direction. New Age Norms is a three-volume project full of creative and musical exploration. It's a fresh sound, Cold War Kids 2.0, if you will, and you can hear it on this track, Beyond the Pale. Who's in the background whispering? Some new friends I'll never see again And I'll be yours beyond the pale There's temptation all around me But I stay anyway I'll be yours It's not a sin I am starving for emotion It seems so innocent So the Cold War kids are shaking up the model there as a conductor, are you allowed to shake up the model? How much of a, a personal touch can you put in uh, in the pieces that you that you conduct, or do you really have to stay close to the original score? Well, uh, uh, I always try to be close to our sources, mm -hmm. but uh, every interpretation is always an interpretation, mm -hmm. and and that, that, that's that's good. So uh, yes, and and then every night we are completely different, and uh, and I really I like live performances. Mm -hmm. I also like recordings, but uh, every every performance must bring something to the audience. And would you say that you have kind of a trademark? Trademark? No. 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 So you just <laughs> <laughs> maybe in your style of, of conducting or, or the perhaps what? I, I hope I, I, I'm also different every night mm -hmm. uh, and for every piece and with every orchestra. Uh, we can't train what to do as a conductor. Uh, we have to do what's necessary in every second. Mm -hmm. So we have to know uh, every piece by heart and we have to study really, really many, many years. Um, uh, and then we are free. Just free. <laughs> That sounds pretty pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to end with one last piece of news. This is the French singer-songwriter, some would say heartthrob, and current judge on a popular singing contest, Marc Lavoine, who is back with a triple album called Morceau d'Amour. With over 50 tracks, it features some of his greatest hits, as well as some new material, like the single Morceau d'Amour, Pieces of Love. We're going to leave you with that song. But before we go, I want to thank our guest today. Thank you so much, Cornelius, for being on the show. Such a pleasure to have you. 
Uh, now, if you want to uh, take a look at more arts and culture news, you can head to our website and stay in touch on social media. And stay tuned to France 24. More news is coming up right after this.